salient force synchronous motion so already nama enna paathirukom appadina cylindrical type of synchronous motion endu eppadi irukum appadina nadu paathom adu eppadi power develop aagudhu torque eppadi develop aagudhu speed of these are there are so many parameters right in case of cylindrical type of synchronous motion now what is the difference between saliency and non saliency nagme solirundha laya non saliency abingiradha cylindrical appdi solluvom in case of cylindrical machine rotor irukku laya rotor oda structure vandu cylinder mari irukum adukulla vandu nam enna padirukku appadina poles vandu bari panichirupanga right so that is poles are projected inward that is called saliency uh, uh, sorry non saliency whereas saliency appadina poles are projected in the outward clear so here now we are going to discuss about salient force synchronous machine just we will see the difference between cylindrical type of synchronous machine and the salient pole type of synchronous machine right let me take in salient pole what is our first thing salient sila epdi irukum appadina cylindrical la rotor vandu cylinder mari irukum right appo the cylinder mari irundhuchu appadina if you observe the air gap between the stator and the rotor is uniform clear ninga endha edukku poninaalum air gap vandu epdi irukum appadina see that the length of in between the stator and the rotor is always uniform அப்ப என்ன வரும் அப்படினா in case of cylinder type of synchronous machine we have only one reactance that is called synchronous reactance in the other synchronous reactance அப்படிங்கிறது that is the sum of armature reactance plus leakage reactance that's all there is no more things right so that is all about cylindrical இத நாம ஏற்கனவே பார்த்தாச்சு அப்ப saliency ல அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கு அப்படினு கேட்டா see that saliency ல என்ன இருக்கு air gap between the stator and the rotor is non uniform why sir see that இத நீங்க அப்சர்வ் பண்ணி பார்த்தீங்க தெரியும் here i have a pole right so pole vandu eppadi irukum appadina that is projected outward cylinder indha maari irukum cylinder ku velile or poles are projected right now see that the air gap between the stator and the rotor here i have certain air gap let me call it as a1 again observe the air gap between these two point here i will have air gap a2 now in the air a1 a2 you can observe panni appadina air gap a2 is greater than a1 Length is greater than a1, right? अबे यार क्या प्रॉब्लम अधिक मार देता है ना? What will happen here? इनके यार क्या अधिक मार के इनके यार क्या कमी आ देता है ना? We know flux का flux का ना बीकर्स चलना पड़ता है। Flux can be written as magnetomotive force upon reluctance R, right? Now here, if we have more air gap length, length तो रोम्बा अधिक मार देता है ना? Reluctance upward by the machine will increase. If reluctance will increase, then the flux will decrease. right appo inga enna irukum appadina indha edathula we have very less amount of flux right appo flux kammi irukku appadina what about reactants reactants also will increase sorry will decrease in case of area 2 whereas area 1 la enna agum air gap is very less air gap romba kammi irukku appadina reluctants will decrease right appo reluctants decrease aachu appadina flux will increase if flux will increase then the reactants drop will increase that is in case of area a1 this is in case of area a2 right so what is the conclusion appo in a cylinder the saliency type of synchronous motion you observe paninga appadina there are two axes first one pole eight are there right so pole order this is my pole right so pole will direct a stator la kya that is called a direct axis pole order faces face pandra appadina pole will direct la the direct axis pole ku 90 degree perpendicular kedutho appadina that is called quadrature axis of the pole right so this is my rotor let me fix the rotor like this so this is called a direct axis pole oda face enga irukko anga irundha nam edukkadhu direct axis pole ku 90 degree line eduthom appadina that is called quadrature axis of the pole right from the reference point right so this axis line is called a direct axis this axis line is called quadrature axis now we know exactly in the surface of the pole that is the point where we have maximum field flux right so if i am going to draw it let me draw the face or inside of the salient pole machine right if i am going to draw it now this is the face this is the point where maximum flux is being generated correct up so, appo inga maximum flux generated achu appadina that is called magnetomotive force developed by the rotor appo rotor la magnetomotive force inga develop achu appadina anga irundha appo ninga nam face diagram la enna paathom kodiya field mf epdi varum appadina mf la 90 degree lag aite varum right since our synchronous machine is being operated under lagging power factor correct ah appa lagging power factor la vandha appadina field la irundha armature current is somewhere lagging here ia appadina term la lag avum right ipo indha current la nam renda break pannom appadina partially it will lies in direct axis 
partially it will lies in quadrature axis right so the, we know the phase difference that is the phase angle difference between internal voltage and armature current is called internal power factor psi yes or no if the psi of the current we have to break one out direct axis current can be written as i d sin by right quadrature axis current can be written as i a sorry that is i a sin by this is i a cos phi right so that is how we are getting the current into two components that is called quadrature axis current and the direct axis current right let me come to the phase angle now phase angle enna bodhu appadi veli eduthu project panunga first i took field flux anger the field voltage anger the armature current see this is my armature current you should know enna irukum ipo let me take the terminal voltage terminal voltage enga irukum appadi that is lagging power factor padi dana pesi irukom appo terminal la iruka voltage vandu indha current vandu somewhere leading la irukum current vandu terminal voltage vandu lagging la varum right appo na enna pannadi na armature current varadhukku appuram from this i can take terminal voltage somewhere inge vai sir appo enna eduthukala right why because in alternator the first conclusion is alternator la field voltage eppime del n ra mon terminal voltage la irundha del n ra angle la leading la irukum right second lagging power factor la irukku appadina terminal voltage la irundha armature current la irundha phi appadina angle la lag a irukum alternator la idhu namakku theriyum appo na enna pannadhu appadina field voltage la irundha armature current la varanjittu armature current terminal voltage la irundha phi angle la lag aagum adhe mari terminal voltage ef la irundha del n ra angle la lag aagum appadina ivanga rendu perku nadula da terminal voltage varum that is the reference that is how we are finding the position of the terminal voltage adhuga pro see there we saw there are two axes one is direct axis another one is quadrature axis appo direct axis la some resistance kadaikum quadrature axis la the current oda some resistance kadaikum direct axis reactance quadrature axis reactance direct axis la namakku kadaikira reactance is called direct axis reactance quadrature axis la namakku kadaikira reactance is called quadrature axis reactance so quadrature axis la yara irukku armature reactance offered by the machine in quadrature axis plus leakage reactants idu vandu quadrature la adhe mari direct axis la abina armature reactants that is reactants offered by the armature in direct axis plus leakage reactants right so this is simply called the synchronous reactants offered by the machine in direct axis synchronous reactants offered by the machine in quadrature axis clear now id appadi ne phase la eppadi project panuvinga listen first i will take armature resistance terminal voltage inga iruka terminal voltage vandadukku appuram ia or ia drop first inga direct axis current nu eduthinga direct axis current enga iruko adhe direction la da adoda resistive drop irukum reactive drop ah irundha indha current ku perpendicular la irukum see direct axis current la rendu drop kedaikum one armature drop inoru undu reactance drop resistive drop indha line ku parallel la varum reactive drop indha line ku perpendicular la varum adhe mari quadrature axis la ora resistive drop reactance drop irukum resistive drop armature current ku parallel la varum reactance drop idhu ku perpendicular la varum right so that is what i am doing here direct axis inga iruka ipo current vandu eppadi iruka direct axis current inga iruka appadina idhu parallel la ia ra drop quadrature axis current inga iruka appo adoda resistance adhu parallel la inga vandu next up direct axis current inga iruka appo idoda reactance perpendicular la varum perpendicular vandachu adhe mari quadrature axis current inga iruka idu ipdi irundha idhu perpendicular line ipdi varum so adha project panniyaachu right so ipo indha ella value appadi draw panninga appadina ulla iruka terminal voltage plus id ra plus iq ra plus id xd plus iq xu will give the total terminal voltage clear now let me break this component into two of ipo na indha variable edunna appadina the field voltage see that in the vt iruklaya vt ku field ku nadu irukka angle del appo vt namba renda break pannom appadina vertical horizontal la namba project pannum bodu vertical enna varum vt cos del varum in the length right so this length can be written as vt cos del and we all know this length is how much in the length inga appadi paringa i a sorry i q r a idu appadi enna varuma that is i q r a in the length vandu i q r a next term in the length evlo paranga that is id xd so this is become id xd appo the total add panninga appadina you will get the value of field voltage so that is how we are getting field voltage in case of saline force in one machine that is very 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 important in the same way we can also calculate value of tan side from that i am skipping the direct diagram adha na separate ah arrange panni explain pannom that is waste of time so from this this psi is denotes tan psi the question uh, exam la in the request unda adikadi kette pa right i was directly writing this one here so tan psi psi denotes the internal power factor that we know so psi is nothing but the internal power factor that is the phase difference between internal voltage and the armature current right so from this it can be written as v sin pi pi is the power factor angle that is terminal voltage ku armature current ku nadu varadhu right so the total value in the armature current ku in the field ku nadu varadha psi we all know this psi can also be written as 
del plus phi. This is how we have to do in case of synchronous alternator, right? So here, tan psi can be written as V sin phi plus or minus I A X Q divided by V cos phi plus I A R A. In the plus, we have to do lagging perfector, minus we have to do leading perfector. This is only for generator or alternator. Clear? If in case of motor or not, do one thing. Motor, if you have plus or minus or minus or minus or plus or minus or minus, you will get the same expression for motor. So, motor is equal to tan psi is equal to V sin pi plus or minus or minus or minus. If you have plus or lagging power factor, here your plus is minus or lagging power factor. If you have minus or leading power factor, you will get the same lagging power factor. So, if you have plus or minus 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 Leading. Clear? Don't forget, you are pressing with the leading. You are minus up with the lagging. So this is all about salient pole synchronous. This is actually field revolving theory of salient pole synchronous motion. So in the next lecture, we will see how we are getting the power equation for the synchronous motor. I hope you all understand. So clear on the equation name. In the equation motor, clear on mind of this one. Where are those doubts? You can ask in the comment section. So thanks for watching our videos. Thank you all.